much here in Nightfall. And it's so nice to see Pioneer slowly coming back. I mean, it wasn't too long ago during the pandemic or the combo haven hatred of the winter where we literally had to wait like five minutes for a matchup. Alright, let's see. This hand doesn't have any big payoffs, but does incidentally just have a lot of stuff. I'm happy to leave this hand, because we can play this, shock this in, and then we have access to either our Selesnia Charm. Alright, we got Spirits. Spirits is going to be an issue. Is this blue-white Spirits? It is. Okay. How to proceed here? Let's see. So it's the matchup, which is pretty rough for us, I think. Because spirits kind of plays like old school humans. It's it's a tempo deck that also disrupts you. Okay. Right. Let's see. So we want to hold up an interaction here. We don't have red, I just realized. Oops. Alright, so we will... Secluded courtyard for spirit. Interesting. How do we proceed here? Let's bounce this. If he taps to save it, Proof. Okay, so he's tapped out here. Let's get rid of the rattle chains. Stops me having flash, but doesn't really give us a um, an out to anything here. Shacklegeist. So they're running collected. Okay. We need red mana. I always seem to struggle with red mana in these decks. I wonder if it's maybe I'm not putting enough. Another land. This is where hurting, having Gigantha kind of hurts us, because we could really use Supreme Verdict here. Okay, Spirit Lord. Okay, flying. Let's do this again. See if... What we get here. Does he have a second Shacklegeist? Potentially? Okay, interesting. Uh, no, my guess is he must have... That's uh, very peculiar here. I'm surprised 
he let that go that way. Uh, we didn't draw. That's not good. We needed red there desperately for these three spells. Mm. Alright, lots of lands. Another spirit, yep. If they pumped again, we could have exiled with the Lesnia charm. I think we're just dead here. Uh, I don't think there's an actual card that uh, is going to pull us out of this. Because we don't have main board wipe. We're meant to have more... Uh... Oh yeah, that definitely doesn't do it when we didn't draw a grid source. Hmm. Right. Anything that kills stuff, so a prophet decays, culling ritual, clarions, in, uh, voice of resurgence to go against their um, hasty threats. Get this. We'll swap out one there for a Keranos, because if we can resolve a Keranos, that would be insane. Um, I don't know here. John of the Lock, I think, comes out. Oh yeah, there is not enough. Wait, no, there's plenty of... Hmm. We're going to have to look at the red in this deck. Hmm. We've got to take out four more things. I think we take out the widespread here, because... Well, I suppose mana is an issue. We go mana for mana here, but... We are not on turn three going to resolve a widespread fevery and be winning this game. We need to resolve a series of interaction to kill slash bounce slash get rid of whatever they have. Alright, Giganfa revealed. Culling Ritual. Oh my god, this hand is so slow, but I'm gonna keep it because we can't really go down. We don't have the white for this, so we don't have to worry about that. So we need black and blue there. So if we can draw a blue that lets us play, that's fine. We need to take out the... Okay, we'll play the Trion because the Trion at least then lets us play our stuff faster. Flash, one more. Okay, no. Interesting. So they're playing their stuff. Do we want this active? If he drops anything there, we could do that. Yeah, we'll play the tap land here, then we'll pass. Basically, okay, Shacklegeist. Uh, let's destroy this. We gotta keep him down on creatures. Slash, force him to use his removal. Okay, counters with a mystical dispute, that's fine. Alright, so, we gotta play the red here. So what we can do now is we're going to go for the same bounce trick here, uh, put this on top of the attacking library, Denial. Okay. Counter target spell has to pay one. 
So they're just running all of the kill spell interaction here, right? Well, let's uh, shut it off then. Colligan's command is pretty good. We'll play this. Untapped. We'll pass. Wait for them to try to resolve threats here. My guess is they're holding a company. Supreme Phantom. Had to be a Phantom. It had to be free toughness, didn't it? Oh my god, okay. Well, we're putting Gigantra into hand here. Because we're pretty desperate. More land, no creatures again, which really doesn't uh, suit me well here. Okay, we are being cursed here with our. Right, we'll just uh, eat the next counter spell that they're holding. Spell quality doesn't work on Gigantpa because it's four or less. Supreme Phantom. Right, he's going for a race now. Right, so we could have broke decay. Alright. Let's get a combat. Let's attack for five. I think we try for calling ritual here. They have hard counters. I don't think it resolves. Oh, this is perfect actually. So that goes into their hand. We then abrupt decay this. Now I get to cast this for free. I will take out both their lords. Add black, green. Then we will do. 2 damage, discard, red, 1. So they go down to 1 card here. We got lucky there with them not understanding. Oh, did they top deck? They top decked another lord. Now we don't win the race anymore. Ah, dang it. We can just draw lands, apparently. Uh, not even good lands that we could cycle. No, we are just dead here because the only option is that we hit Niv. Or the Winter Light. Okay. Hmm, how do we do this? I think we have to live here. Black, white, blue, red, green. Problem is, if they have Lofty Denial, they'll have four mana, so we have to play around that. Okay, so we'll tap the Gigantha. Blue, green, then we can use black, white, red. Then we grab Niv Mizzet, 
because he's a blocker. And Reload. No options. Please hit something we can work with. Oh, that is probably the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Um. White, green, black. I don't believe it. We needed an actual. Oh my god. Oh, he's got one card in hand. If it's a lord or a flash, we are just dead. Oh, oh, phew. Whew, we got so lucky there. That Niv Whiff nearly cost us everything. So our opponent went heavy on counters. Um, and we got very lucky. Uh, that Culling Ritual. Yeah, our opponent. So, for what you don't. For anyone who didn't see what happened when they misplayed, is. Um, they use Spell Queller, but Spell Queller only works with mana value 4 or less. Scan for being 5 doesn't quite work. Thank God. Alright, um. Can work with this, I guess. I think I keep this. Our opponent also kept a 7, which isn't good for us. I wonder if they kept a very heavy uh, interaction. Yeah, this is a trade-off for Tempo decks. Is that second game they kept a hand? Okay, they kept a hand which was purely scoped for um, literally using their. Uh... Okay. That's cool. Let's start using our voice here. I'm wondering. I just realized that we can't. Oh, I just. This is the problems of playing these decks. We're going to have our no land deck now. Alright, we're going to attack. If they don't know how Voice of Resurgence works. Interesting. Okay. Alright, land. So land is good. And indeed is good. <laughs> Alright. Let's play another death right here. Let's go to combat. We'll attack with voice, I think, and this for free to put more clock on him. Then we will pass. I guess is they're holding the company. Oh, please don't tell me they kept a whole hand built around uh, these two cards, because it'll be funny if I just go exile one. That's fine with me. That's your counter spell gone. Play the land. So now we can go to combat again. We can attack with these two. Actually, no, we don't even need to attack with these two. I should do it, yeah, because we can only exile one. We only have one black mana. And I want to see what they do. So they're down to two here. We're winning this race. The beauty of it is we're not actually going to target their anything of their um, their stuff. 
So all I'm going to do is here in the end stuff, I'm going to drain them with getting rid of their spell. Then we get a Fable Passage, which is fantastic. We'll go to combat. We'll attack, attack. So here's what we do now. We're going to force the issue. Let's get a green. We're going to cast Bring to Light here because if they use a counter spell, it's going to give us a huge guy. Uh, hold on, no, we need to put white and red. They did not go for it, interesting. So, I'm actually going to go here for the Valky go for the Tybalt, because this should force them to use counter spells, which will make a big blocker they can't deal with. Okay, then we'll just keep uh, top decking stuff. Oof, we're all hitting lands it seems. The beauty of it is, if they're holding a company here and go for an instep, it makes us a big guy that can just win us the game. So this, yeah, so what happened here with our opponent was, it's very unfortunate, they kept a hand after seeing our first game of us going for the Shape of Sanctuary. But incidentally, like here, we just have Death Rite that can ramp or drain or drain repeatedly. And we had options that were beyond that. Like, Double Shape of Sanctuary was great. Like, if they knew that we had another Vanishing Verse here, we could have played so much to this. But, um, yeah. So, I feel bad for the opponent, they lost on a misplay on the first, the second game where they misplayed the Gigantfa counter. Or they might have done that to race maybe in hindsight, I'll have to watch the tapes, but yeah, game one down.